Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out It's ND2 on Instagram. She and several people that sent me this story that's gone viral. Matthew Knowles' other baby mama has now decided to sit down and do an interview with Inside Edition. Not only did she do a website interview, she's also on camera talking about her favorite Matthew Knowles and also exploiting her daughter. Go ahead and check out the news clip and I will come back with the rest of my commentary. When you told Matthew Knowles that you were pregnant with his child, how did he react? Uh, very much. Well, you can't get pregnant by me. <laughs> you know, it can't be my child. You can't deny it once DNA test comes out 99.9% .9 that you are the father. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. So you guys just saw that news clip of Takoya Branscombe. So first of all, let me go ahead and say this, get this out the way. Her daughter, Koi, is drop-dead gorgeous. That little girl is beautiful. She has some beautiful hair. She is gorgeous. Let me go ahead and start by saying this. First of all, I'm going to need Matthew Holes to keep his whores and jump-offs in line because this makes no sense that these women keep running to Inside Edition to talk about their relationship and how they got knocked up by a married man. Second of all, I'm going to need to call Branscombe and her ashy-ass coochie to have several fucking seats for this interview. I don't understand why this woman is going out of her way to not only exploit her daughter, but to drag Beyonce's name into this mess. In the news article, she made comments saying that her daughter wants to be a singer and a dancer just like Beyonce, and that her daughter looks up to Beyonce, and she hopes that one day Beyonce will come out and meet with her daughter. Now, you notice how these women who have had sex with Matthew Knowles, gotten knocked up, and had these kids, you notice how they're always saying Beyonce's name? As if Matthew Knowles only has one daughter. Matthew Knowles not only has these two little kids, he also has not one but two grown daughters. Notice they never mentioned Solange. Now she claims that her and Solange were friends and that's supposedly how she met Matthew Knowles. She said that she started an affair with him when he was about 60 years old and that basically he told her that he had had a vasectomy. She believed him, they weren't using any protection and whoopsie daisy, nine months later here comes a baby. You know, it's really funny that this man is so trifling that he was not only having sex with Alexander Wright Raw, but he was also having sex with Takoya Branscombe the whole time he was married. Another thing that bothers me with this whole entire interview and this whole fiasco is where the hell is the shame? It seems like one thing that we lack as a nation, I've said this several times before, is that we have no shame whatsoever. Ten years ago, nobody would have paid this woman any mind. She had been treated like a jump off. She would have went out by her business, raised her child, got her child support, and that would have been it. No one has ever seen Joe Jackson's jump off. You know, she doesn't do interviews. Um, the daughter that he had on Catherine, she comes out every now and then, and she says that the Jackson family, you know, shunned her, and they don't talk to her, they don't deal with her. Well, that's what happens when you're the outside child. It's it's not fair. It's not the child's fault. But at the end of the day, siblings are going to attach to other siblings and they're going to attach to their parents. They don't have anything to do with outside siblings. Now, if you can have a relationship with your outside siblings, then that's fine. But some people choose not to and they have that right. I don't understand why this woman and Alessandra feel like if they go to the national media, they can somehow shame Beyonce into, you know, claiming these kids, being there with these kids, doing stuff for these kids. I think this is just really damn ridiculous. So the only person who's responsible for taking care these children are Takoya Branscom and Matthew Knowles and Alexander Wright and Matthew Knowles. They knew that this man was married and they chose to have an intimate affair with a married man. But Matthew Knowles is just as trifling as hell. My thing is, if you don't have respect for your marriage and for your wife, you can't expect other people to. And this is why a lot of folks don't take marriage seriously. This is why a lot of relationships are crumbling. Folks don't know how to be faithful to one person. And my thing is, if you don't want to be faithful to one person, if you don't want to be married, then you shouldn't be married. Break it off. Do divorce and then go out and do you but to be out here creeping and, and raw dogging just random women and getting them pregnant it's not a good look this man is 63 years old with two four-year-old children if this ain't some hood boogie shit, y'all, I don't know what it is. I'm going to need Matthew Knowles, Takoya Branscom, Alessandra Wright, and all this bullshit here. I'm going to need y'all to have several damn seats and stop running to the news media. This makes no sense whatsoever. I'm not no huge Beyonce stan, but folks need to stop putting her name in this. Beyonce's in her own marriage, trying to raise her own daughter. She doesn't have time for her name to be drugged into this fuckery. You know, I don't understand why they feel the need to keep dragging her in as if they were having sex with Beyonce. And this is how you know this shit was on purpose. Even if he supposedly had a vasectomy, why were you not on birth control? Last time I checked, vasectomies don't prevent STDs. 
So my thing is, shouldn't you have still been trying to wear a condom or been on some type of birth control regardless of what he told you? It's obvious that these women got pregnant by Matthew Knowles on purpose in hopes of getting his fortune, in hopes of getting in good with the noses, being close with Jay-Z and Beyonce and Solange and all that other bullshit. But now that that didn't pan out because Beyonce and Solange don't even deal with Matthew Knowles like that, now they're salty and trying to run to the media and trying to drum up sympathy for their kids. I don't understand why some black women feel the need to run to the news media and put all their business out there like that, especially when they were in the wrong during this whole relationship, especially when the relationship was an affair. It wasn't like you was in a regular relationship with him and you guys were in love. You were simply having sex with a married man, so why does she deserve a platform? I mean, I don't understand why this warrants, you know, inside edition interviewing her. I just found the whole situation tacky as hell. Like I said before, once again, we have no shame. So I'm not shocked by any of this anymore. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy ass situation. That's once again concerning Matthew Hose and his jump offs. All right, deuces.